Vinayak spoke about the digital lending product for India, and Arun also spoke about artificial intelligence. Now, in fact, the theme of today's virtual essential was how to build an AI enterprise, because we clearly know that organizations are thinking about how to leverage the data that they have within their organization systems and then build on AI capability. So we essentially, with our AI capabilities, are working with the customers in India to help them to manage their data and also artificial intelligence journey. More we can talk in detail. The second part is about the digital lending product for India. Now, for any lending, there are three stakeholders, I will say. One is a lender, other is a borrower, and third are the lending products. So essentially, the lender could be a bank or a non-banking finance company, and borrower is retail borrowers like you and me, or it could be different types of borrowers, the SMEs as well as corporate, depending on the type of institution or individual needs. And then, of course, there are various types of products that the lenders do uh, lend money for, which is personal loans, home loans, auto loans, etc. Now, in this entire lending process, there are stakeholders. Along with the consumers, there are, of course, underwriters and various other digital capabilities which the lending institute <coughs> uses. So essentially what we have done is we have tried to help the lending organizations manage the entire capability from identification on identifying the borrower to finding out the credit worthiness of that borrower, taking the decision of whether this borrower should be given money or not, and subsequently, after lending that money, the job doesn't end over there for the lender. They also need to worry about the money that they have given for them to do the collections. So what we are now doing is this entire capability, which is specifically required by India, and the reason I'm saying by India, because when a lender is trying to assess the creditworthiness of a borrower, there are certain things that they look at. They look at the information coming in from the credit bureaus, there are some specific credit bureaus for India. They also look at Arun was talking about the digital public infrastructure. Uh, that is one of the part of the digital public infrastructure. And the integrations with all these capabilities and the information coming in from these sources do help the underwriters do the decision making and then subsequently work on lending money to the borrowers. So we kind of have packaged this capability. And today, actually, Arun spoke about that when I mean, she was doing her keynote, that we are launching that product for India for personal loan, home loan, auto loan as the first launch of our solutions. So that's something that I just wanted to initially talk about. And as Arunati and uh, Arun has said, we are now ready to take the questions. Okay. So just on lending, so, so all of you understand, um, over the last five years, we have practically uh, built this capability for banks, for non-banking financial institutions, for fintechs using the Salesforce existing capabilities in our financial services cloud and the other products, right? But what this meant was every customer had to do this from scratch. And so the ask of our customers was, look, this is standard. I have to do KYC with Aadhaar. I have to pull a credit report from Civil. I have to use Perseus. I have to, and today you have something called the account aggregator framework. And I thought I'll tell this story because I think it's fascinating. Uh, and when I was talking about this dinner last night, you know, we have an informal economy uh, in this country, which kind of has gotten formalized in the last 10 years because of UPI. Uh, we were talking to an NBFC who, who lends money to, uh, to the uh, you know, so-called informal economy, the chai well on the street. And I said, how do you assess that person's uh, business, right? And he said, my guy goes and spends time during peak hours at this chai stall. And he looks at you know how many empty glasses are there on the on the shelf and how many used glasses are there, and he starts doing back of the napkin math, you know, looking at PCAR and saying how many glasses of chai did the guy sell, and based on that, you know, we give the guy a certain amount of let's say an SME loan. Well, that was the past when we didn't have information. With the account aggregator framework, it push up a button. Now you all know, and I'm no different. When I go to that chai wala, I'm not carrying cash in my hand. I'm making my payment using my UPI interface, right? Now, with the account aggregator framework, with a push of a button, I can complete detail of the Chaiwala's UPI transactions that now has made that person bankable. So my ability to assess that person's credit worthiness, my ability to assess how much 
loan I should give without, you know, assuming that you have a certain risk appetite, has foundationally changed the way the informal sector now has become bankable. And, you know, I, I remember we were talking to one of our largest customers and said, there's an estimated 200 million people who are now going to come into the framework of lending because of this. So there's a reason why we've also chosen uh, lending as one of our first products to be you know, built and made for India because we think in the next five years as India goes on this growth trajectory, uh, the ability for us to to bring capital, not just in the urban populations, but the semi-urban, rural, all the way down to the villages, is going to be the backbone in which this country will grow into the third largest economy in the world. And so I think I just thought, I'll give that framework. We already pretty much own that lending space, but we've done it bespoke. Now we will have a product that actually accelerates our customers' ability to move into that market. So just some background for you, but open for questions. Sir.